Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Disney Springs and we are going to be trying some of the new food and drink offerings for the month of October, including some pumpkin marshmallows, maybe the new Gideon's cookie and coffee, and some pumpkin beer, all for the month of October. Anywho's, let's go do this. I am really excited to see what this month's offerings is at Gideon's because, you know, they actually change it month to month. So I'd love to see a pumpkin cold brew coffee or some kind of like fall cookie. I'm excited and we're going to fall into the magic at Disney Springs. They have two or three of these displays around the park and I like them. They're good for photos. First stop on our journey is definitely going to have to be Gideon's. I need a coffee and I'm excited because like I said, I'm pretty sure they have a pumpkin cold brew coffee. So like that is right up my alley. Here is a look at the October menu and I love the different cards that they give out. Looks like we've got a Frankenstein, which is a dark chocolate double stuffed Oreos and M&M's cookie. A Bride of Frankenstein, which is white chocolate, golden Oreos and M&M's. Oh wow, there's a lot of good stuff and they do. They have a pumpkin chai cold brew. So that is calling my name. Lots of amazing things. They also have a new cookies and cream nitro cold brew. Wow, there is a lot. This is gonna be a great month for Gideon's. Like, I'm pumped. I actually wanna keep this. Put it right in my bag. There we go, we're going inside. Always love the smell of Gideon's. Look at, oh wow. It smells so amazing in here. Here are the Frankenstein cookies. We've got the Frankenstein right here, which is a double chocolate uh, double chocolate cookie and it's got uh, double stuffed Oreos in it and M&M's and then the bride and this one actually is a uh, vanilla cookie and it's got golden Oreos on it so these are looking really good I think I might get the bride but the thing that also caught my attention right here is the shadow cake the shadow cake is exclusively sold actually today there's only 18 left and it's to celebrate the anniversary of Gideon's so I have to get that because it's not going to be available until next year unless they do something different. Maybe this is going to be the last time. Only 18 people behind me are going to get this cake. I'm lucky I got here when I did. All right. Looks like we got all of our stuff. I got my pumpkin chai coffee. I can't wait to try that. And I had to get the shadow cake. It is a Gideon's anniversary. And when I was going up, there was only 18 left. And then when I got up and ordered it, they told me 10 left. They were yelling 10 10 left like they were yelling in the back and also got the bride of frankenstein cookie now i'm not going to actually eat all of this right now i'm going to try some of it but we're going to be taking it home with us because it's a lot of stuff but you can't pass up a once in a lifetime cake and they said it takes a whole day to make so that's impressive all right here they are take a look at that there's the bride of frankenstein cookie that's the one i'm probably most excited for and the shadow cake this is a once in a lifetime cake and I think officially they are sold out now. And of course, like I said, the pumpkin chai coffee. And I'm really loving Gideon's during October. The black cat will appear when Halloween draws near. So fancy. Now it's time to try the pumpkin chai coffee. And I doubt that this is gonna actually beat the pump, uh, peanut, uh, peanut butter coffee because that's my all time favorite. But if it does, I'd be surprised. It's good. Mmm, it's really good. It's not peanut butter good, but it is good. I think this would be like my second favorite coffee. I tried the classic and the cookies and cream, and this is better than all of them. But the peanut butter coffee at Gideon's is just much too good. But this is this is a good second place. Good second place. I don't want to do it, but I got to cut into that shadow kick. I need to know what it looks like on the inside. I know there is some kind of pumpkin frosting in there, and I'm just so curious. So I'm going to use my friend's Disney Dole Whip spoon. Look at this fancy thing. And we're going to just kind of go right on in. So here we go. Oh, my Lord. Oh, look at all that goodness. Oh boy, the spoon is doing the perfect job for this. This is a big deal. I'm very excited that I got this when I did. So here we go. I can definitely see the pumpkin in there. Wow. That is intense. Holy moly. No joke. They need to bring this back. Like they need to, this needs to be on the menu regularly. That's how amazing this is. I'm not a big chocolate fan, but 
mix the rich chocolate with the pumpkin and oh my lord little gold flakes on top this is really good now it's time to try the Frankenstein cookie and look at this bad boy doesn't it look so good all right I'm gonna break it this way yes you ready here we go I love golden Oreos so this is gonna be right up my alley like I said but the double stuffed one for the regular Frankenstein sounded good. Uh, maybe I'll have to come back and try that. I have the whole month of October. These are going to be here for the whole month of October. The shadow cake, that goes away today. Wow. This is so good. Easily in my top three cookies here. Honestly, look at that. You see the Oreo in there? Wow. Wow, wow, I don't even know what to say. Halloween is like really doing the trick here at Gideon's. Okay, I put the rest of my treats back in my bag and I'm definitely gonna have them later. I have half the cake. Maybe I should freeze the cake and then eat it next year on the anniversary of Gideon's. How cool would that be? Do you think I can hold a cake for a whole year? I mean, I, I hear like people cracking out the uh, wedding cake like 10 years in. Is that a thing? I don't know, but anyways, uh, we're gonna move right to our next spot, right next to Gideon's at the Ganachery, and I think we're gonna get some of the cool pumpkin marshmallows or whatever cool Halloween October thing that they got going on. I think they have a couple, so we'll have to decide. So there we are. We're gonna jump from Gideon's to the Canachery, just like that. They're right next to each other. Only two things in between, the Savannah Bee Company and Oakley. Oakley always have some amazing glasses. I remember that when I was in middle school. Not only do they have fun fall and pumpkin things, but they also have a couple of items for the 50th anniversary, and I think that's nifty. There's also a whole bunch of other 50th anniversary things down at Disney Springs, but today, it's all about the pumpkin, all about the fall and Halloween. But just take a look at the 50th anniversary things. Isn't that so cute? They come in little packages and a little chocolate bar and it has the castle and the 50th logo. And now we're gonna actually head on inside. Oh, look it, it's a spoon handle. Spoon man. Look at the making the chocolate on the conveyor belt right there. You don't see that every day, do ya? Take a look at that, the pumpkin spice marshmallows, and it's a whole bag for $8.50. That looks really good. And then down here, they've got the mini chocolate skulls, which is a bunch of little tiny chocolate skulls. These are only $15, and they look really fun. And then the big one, the mummy Mickey pinata, $28. I don't think I'll be getting that today, but you actually get this nice little hammer to smash it. And uh, yeah, $28 though. I think I'm gonna go with the pumpkin spice marshmallows because I can get a whole bag of these and I'm not gonna have to eat them. And I can try one and I'll probably have like 15 left over that I can have throughout the week. I'm gonna have a lot of sweets. Well, I don't think I'm gonna be getting a lot more sweets. Maybe I'll stop at Amaretz, uh, but the rest uh, is a lot of pumpkin beer and different mixed drinks I wanna show you. I mean, the big thing is just showing you all the amazing things inside Disney Springs for fall. So I gotta get it all. They also have the pumpkin spice latte look at that pumpkin spices Italian espresso and milk chocolate that sounds good all right we have to try the pumpkin marshmallows and I like that it's in a resellable bag look at that oh look at these little guys I love it <laughs> pumpkin marshmallow cheers like cheers, cheers. <laughs> pumpkin all oh, pumpkin <laughs> Yeah. It's good marshmallow. It's a good mix. Yeah. yeah. That's good stuff. Put that on a s'more. That's a fall s'more right there. Ooh, yeah. wow. Pumpkin s'mores sound good. I like the way he thinks. <laughs> Okay, now we have to take an official break from the sweets and maybe get ourselves a pumpkin beer. And the first one I wanna to go to is the Polite Pig and also down to City Works because they have an October, an Oktoberfest flight. And you know, I, I love pumpkin beer. I only drink it during the Halloween time. If they did sell it like all year round, I probably would dab into it occasionally, but it definitely hits different during the Halloween season or the month of October. And now we have made it to my favorite Disney quick service, the Polite Pig. And like I said, I know they have a new pumpkin beer. And a little fun fact, you can actually get anything from the menu if you sit at the bar here. Wow, he's got skills. 
Normally, I definitely would be getting something to eat here, but the main reason of coming over to the Blight Pig today is the pumpkin beer. And like I said, I do love a pumpkin beer. Here it is, the Ravenous Pig Pumpkin Squash Ale. And take a look at that. I love it. A little cinnamon sugar on the rim. And this just looks so good. I'm loving the little cinnamon sugar on the rim there. So cheers. Cheers to Pumpkin Squash Ale. Oh yeah, much too good. <laughs> Fun fact about the Polite Pig, did you guys know that they are the first people that started selling Gideon's cookies? Before Gideon's came to Disney Springs, they used to sell the cookies here at the Polite Pig. So thank the Polite Pig for Gideon's here. I, they, I think they had a major part in that. I don't know, I just figured it would be fun to share that since we just came from Gideon's. And now we're over here enjoying a nice uh, pumpkin squash ale. And it's smoky, like I like that. <laughs> Thank you. Now we made our way down to Amaretz and they have a nice Halloween collection. And it looks like they got a pumpkin creme brulee, the Haunted Mansion cake, and then a pumpkin cheesecake. But they do have a 50th anniversary cake that's already sold out. And I was hoping to get that, but I guess I'll have to come back another day. These were the same as last year. And I remember I think I got the creme brulee and I liked it a lot. I'm not a big fan of cheesecake. And the Haunted Mansion cake I think is like $30. So, I mean, you have a lot of good offerings. And I like that it's just like the Halloween collection. Whenever Amaretz is doing a new cake, you gotta get here early in the day every single time because they sell out so fast. I think they're more elusive than uh, the cakes that are at uh, Gideon's Bakehouse. Since I got this big old bag of goodies here, we've got pumpkin marshmallows, we got half a cookie and half a cake. I think I might as well stop into Sprinkles so I can see if they have any special October cupcakes and also grab Gracie a doggy cupcake. It's a tradition, a doggy cupcake every single time we come to Disney Springs. And take a look at this, a pumpkin spice latte cupcake. Pumpkin cake filled with marshmallow cream topped with a Cuban coffee frosting. Available 9.20 to 10.3. So guess what? It's the last day for this. We are so lucky that we got here. Holy moly, that looks right up my alley. Especially the Cuban coffee frosting. I have to get it. I mean, I, I feel like I've gotten so many treats, I might as well. Also, I got Gracie her little pup cakes. Look at this. Isn't that so cute and fancy? She's gonna love it. We'll give that to her later tonight. The other day she had steak and uh, tonight she'll have cupcakes. I most definitely won't be trying the pumpkin spice latte cupcake now. I'm gonna take that home later on tonight and I'll have it with Gracie as she has her cupcake. So we will actually get to see the inside. I'm excited for the marshmallow filling. And like I said, I just have a lot of treats. Uh, so now we're gonna move along and we're gonna head down to City Works and we're gonna try the Oktoberfest beer flight. So I, I don't know, it's a good mixture. Treat, treat, beer, beer. Treat, treat, beer, beer. And then maybe some real food eventually. Man, can I just tell you how beautiful the weather is right now? Like, it is so nice out. The perfect fall weather here at Disney Springs. I would love to go hang out at Epcot. I don't know, whenever it's like nice weather, I just picture walking around World Showcase with the torches lit and just kind of having a good night. And like tonight is one of those nights. Even though I do love being at Disney Springs, I feel like it's a perfect Epcot night. Also, I don't know if anyone else noticed my new office t-shirt. It's uh, Date Mike. Nice to meet me. I love this shirt and it's uh, Roosevelt. These are like my favorite t-shirts. I'll put a link in the description where you can actually buy them. Uh, the same company that makes my Stanley Florida shirt. I mean, you had to go with it though, right? Isn't that cool? Nice to meet me. We got some live music at Splitsville. The nightlife is really coming to life here at Disney Springs. Oh, and they're singing Buttercup. I love that song. Why do you build me a buttercup, baby, just to let me down? And here we are. We made it over to City Works and the abandoned NBA experience. This is my first time seeing it like this. Isn't this kind of crazy? Look, it's all gone. Even the Titan Tron is just blank. Like, you think they would actually use that for something else, but no, they just have it empty. Kind of so, like, mind blown by this. 
I grabbed a seat at the bar on the inside. They do have outdoor seating, but if you sit outdoors, they give you plastic cups. So I want to sit on the inside because I need the fancy glass. You know what I mean? I like the way that they have the flights here because they come in like a little carriage and they're really pretty. And yeah, the Oktoberfest is here. It's ready and I'm excited to try. Here is a look at all the different beers that they're offering for the Oktoberfest. We got Goose Island, we got Boston Brewing Company. Ooh, the Pumpkinhead Shipyard Brewing is one of my favorites. And then Head of the Horsemen, D9 Brewing. And that sounds really good and they're all very strong. But holy moly, look at the Head of the Horsemen, 9.7 alcohol per volume. That is intense. Take a look at this. They also have some Oktoberfest specials, including some spatzel and schnitzel. And here are the flights. This is what I was talking about. I like how they have it like this. You have to get the little glasses. I don't want the plastic stuff, even though they might actually give you the holder because I don't think anyone's walking away with that. I mean, I don't know. I would walk away with one of those, but I'm, I'm excited to try. I think we'll start off with the regular old Oktoberfest here. We'll give it a go. I really like the pumpkin beer at Polite Pig. I've had the Shipyard uh, Pumpkin Head before, and I definitely like Polite Pigs a little bit better because that's a squash ale, and this is just more pumpkin spice. But regular Sam Adams Oktoberfest. Yeah. <laughs> now I think I'll jump right to the head of the horseman. This is the one that's 9.7. And I like how they have them marked on top so you know exactly what you're getting yourself into. But I figured we'll get this one out of the way because it's definitely the most strongest. I know I'm gonna love the shipyard, probably my favorite. Here we go. We're gonna try the head of the horseman, the strongest beer. Oh, you can feel the burn. Holy moly. Yeah, that's a strong beer. Not pumpkin-y, just Oktoberfest-y. And I like it, Oktoberfest-y. That sounds fancy. I'm definitely gonna take my time with this one. It is very, very strong. So I think I'll jump right on in to the pumpkin head. Oh, this is the pumpkin head, the lightest one. I'm gonna go to the lightest one next. There we go. The pumpkin head's the way to go. Cheers. Like a champion. Last but certainly not least, the Goose Island Oktoberfest. Now this is 5.6 alcohol per value, and I drank everything else except for the head of the horseman, which I will finish up, but I wanna try everything and then go with the strongest beer at the end there. That's gonna be the wrap up. Goose Island, the Goosey. Not too bad. Not too bad. My favorite has to be the pumpkin head. And it's not even like a popular, I mean, it is a very popular, like, beer. Like, I, I used to get it at uh, Halloween Horror Nights all the time. I don't think it's sold there this time, but it's nice to see that it's here, and it's fun to have all these pumpkin drinks. Champion. All finished. That one was definitely a tough. Oh, there's a little bit left there. Can't let that go to waste. Till the last drop. Now it's time to move along. The flight was really good. The head of the horseman was a strong, strong bear, almost 10%. So I'm glad that they were actually little sample sizes, little six ounces, because two or three of those could be like dangerous, you know what I mean? But I think we'll move along and see what other cool Halloween or October treats that we can get. I'm excited, I'm loving the time that I'm having down here at Disney Springs. It's always such an amazing atmosphere. Our next stop is going to be here at the hangar bar for the Witch's Brew. It's going to be a flight of whiskey, and I'm excited to try it. I mean, we can always get the uh, Reggie there, though. That's my favorite drink. I love Jock Lindsay's, and they actually have two different, like, Halloween drinks. They have the Witch's Brew, which is a witch, like a, a whiskey flight, a rye whiskey flight, and then they have an autumn drink. Uh, that I'm excited to try so uh, I'm gonna get the autumn drink and then my friend is actually gonna get the uh, witches uh, brew the witches yeah. brew Why not right? Why not? Because it's got <laughs> rye whiskey. Why not? <laughs> The Hangar Bar is one of my favorite themed bars here at Walt Disney World. I love that you can actually come sit down inside of like a scuba helmet or a scuba tank. I don't think anyone's in here now, but I can show you. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? So cool. 
scuba tank dive bell, whatever you want to call it, it is really awesome. And also, I love how they just have so many Indiana Jones decor in here and the Adventurers Society. You know, Kungaloosh, this is like ground central. Here it is. We got the Autumn Smash, which is Captain Morgan, cinnamon uh, syrup, pear nectar, and then what else did she say? Lemon juice. Lemon juice. Yeah. And then the Witch's Brew, which is a collection of different rye whiskeys. It looks like there's a tangerine. Do you know them all? I think it's a tangerine, a grape, and I want to say a lime. Wow. The Witch's Brew. And then what'd you get, man? I don't, whatever the waitress picked, I don't even remember what That's the way. Oh, I had that drink before. The glass is like slanted, so it looks like you're drunk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> it was green apple, not lime, but they all look good. You know, I love some Autumn Smash. My favorite uh, drink actually this season was probably a pumpkin smash at SeaWorld. So this actually might be up there. I do love cinnamon, I love Captain too. So uh, cheers, friends. Cheers! Cheers! <laughs> oh, that is good. That is really, really good. Can't even tell it's like a, a liquor drink. Can't taste any Captain in it at all. Honestly, I wouldn't even think there was Captain inside this drink. That's how good it is. My friend told me that the witch's brew is super sweet and the waitress actually warned us. But it's just a lot of syrup and yeah. then rye whiskey. Yeah. I mean, huh? like, yeah. Cheers. cheers, right? I think I'm going to have to try it though because they said it was super sweet. And I like sour apple. Uh, a little sour apple. Sour apple why? Sour apple why? Sour apple why? Sounds good. Yeah, it's sweet. You can't even taste the, the, the rye whiskey in there. There's, wow, the drinks are like blended up. Either that is mixed very well, or there's not a lot of whiskey. Either way, it could be good, it could be bad. I mean, it's up to you, I don't know. The tangerine, they said, is really good, but uh, would you say the violet is the best one or not the best one? Uh, in the middle. In I the like middle. Than the apple, at least. Okay, well, we're gonna try this one then. So a little rye whiskey with a little violent, violent, yeah, <laughs> violent, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I mean it looks like Robitussin. I'm gonna see if it tastes like Robitussin. Oh, I'm blurring out. Got to center in. There we go. So we're gonna give it a go. Yeah, it does taste like Robitussin, kind of. <laughs> wow. Maybe that's why it's the witch's brew. Well, that was a fun stop inside the hangar bar. The witch's flight was okay, uh, but I did love my autumn drink, and now it's completely dark out. You can see we've got the balloon up in the sky there. People lined up for Gideon's. I'm happy that we came when we did because the Gideon's wait time is probably about five hours now, and look at the line for the return time. Holy moly, right? These are the nights at Disney Springs where you're happy you get here early. Now that we got ourselves the drinks at Jack Lindsay's Hangar Bar, I think we're actually going to leave Disney Springs and we're going to go and hang out with some friends at the Grand Floridian and see if we can watch Enchantment. I think it would be fun to actually add that in and then back home to see Gracie and uh, have our cupcakes together. Look at this, we made it just in time for the finale. Tink.
Oh, 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 Honestly, I am done. I can't actually eat my pumpkin spice latte cupcake, but I will give Gracie hers, and uh, I'm just gonna call it a night. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. It was a fun night at Disney Springs. Got to hang out with some friends, try some good pumpkin beer and Oktoberfest beer, and uh, some nice pumpkin snacks. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. And now here's Gracie eating a little doggy pup cake. Feed me, foolish mortals. <laughs> what? There you go. It's good. It's good. <laughs>